<sighs> Finally back from school. <sighs> Alright, let's... Uh, you know what, let me see who's online. Uh, Derek's all online, you know, I don't feel like playing with anyone. I'm just gonna go on Infinite Warfare. Hold on, let me quit out of the application. And let's go on Infinite Warfare. Ah, <sighs> oh, man, I have a lot of homework to do. You know, I, I feel like I should do some Infinite Warfare and just play some TDM camping in the corner. I feel like doing that, you know. <sighs> it's what I usually do, but, um... I have a, I have a test tomorrow. Ah, right, you know what? I'll, I'll still play some Infinite Warfare. I mean, isn't Infinite Warfare the greatest game ever? It, it, it's the best. I mean, it's even better than all the other Call of Duties, mostly because of its amazing uh, gameplay. <laughs> all right, Infinite Warfare is loaded up. Oh, hold up, I gotta sign in my account, what? Yeah, I'm in my Vakuna 2002. Let's go to multiplayer. All right, come on, it's loading. All right, come on. All right, we're in. Oh, what? What? This profile of Akuna 2002 has been banned from playing C C C Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Wait, what? Uh, uh, I, I, I'm so confused. Why? 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 This doesn't make sense. For 47 hours? Are you kidding me? Can I at least play some zombies? Yay! Ah, we're in zombies. Oh damn it! Never mind. <laughs> oh come on! Why am I banned? Wow, wow! I'm banned. Well, can I at least play like some local play, dude? It's, it's fine. I'll just play by myself. You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not playing like this. No. Oh, man, I'm banned. You know what? Screw this. Screw Infinite Warfare. I'm. I'm. I'm not uploading Infinite Warfare anymore. Screw this, guys. <laughs> Goodbye, good world. Goodbye, I love you all. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed that little skit I did. Um, and yes, I am banned on Infinite Warfare for about two days. And uh, if you guys want to wonder what I what it feels like to be banned, I really do not care even if I am banned for about two days. It's just a little problem I will have is that apparently uh, someone sent out to Activision like, hey... What happens if you're banned or if you did the little unlimited keys glitch um then activision responded with oh you'll be banned for about two days or 47 hours and uh you'll have like your stats reset just everything reset on your account and uh that i guess that kind of like triggered me I, w I wouldn't say really triggered me but i guess me like kind of pissed me off i'm just like really and um i'm just gonna like say a couple of things about infinite warfare uh, just to get it off my mind, you know, so you guys can understand why I'm not going to be uploading for about two days, or actually not uploading, like, Infinite Warfare for about two days. I'm hoping to do, like, a GTA 5 glitch or something to show you guys. Uh, I mean, GTA 5 I really enjoy a lot, as, uh, I've, I've been playing GTA for about, uh, three years. I think maybe ever since it came out, I've been playing GTA, and, uh, yeah, it's just a load of fun to play with your friends, but uh, enough talk about GTA. Let me actually discuss this thing with you guys, and it's that, like I said, I'm not going to be uploading Infinite Warfare for about two days, mainly because obviously I'm banned if you saw that at the start of the video, and um, like I said, I'm going to be probably uploading a GTA 5 glitch very, very, very soon, and um, just the thing I do want to talk about in this video real quick is that it shouldn't be our fault for us getting banned on Infinite Warfare. And I know you guys may have a different opinion on this, but uh, here's what I'm going to be saying is that, um, well, first I just want to say is that it really shouldn't be our fault for us getting banned. I mean, Infinite Warfare is a very, very broken game, and there are too many glitches that Infinity Ward have to patch, such as the God Mode glitches, just a lot of glitches that make the game very, very broken, especially that Infinite Keys glitch, God Mode. Um, other things that are very, very broken, like I said, in the game, and it's even more broken than that DLC weapons glitch in, uh, Black Ops 3, as there were more broken glitches in, like, the first three months of Infinite Warfare than there were in Black Ops 3 entirely, as mostly in Black Ops 3, there were just, like, pileup glitches, nothing too special or anything, but Infinite Warfare is a whole new level, I mean, there's, like, four god mode glitches that you guys can do, and it's just really, really bad to see 
that Infinite Warfare has gotten so broken lately with the amount of things, like I said, God Mode, um, what do you call it, that Infinite Keys glitch, and uh, other things like the, um, what do you call it, going into the Fountain glitch, God Mode glitch, where you can literally put your, like, controller down, be AFK, go to sleep or something, you'll be, like, woken up to being on, like, round 100 or whatever, but... Uh, there's just way too many things that Infinite War, Infinity Ward actually need to focus on other than this keys glitch. But I do understand that uh, a lot of people were doing this keys glitch and it actually kind of ruined the uh, Activision itself because, you know, since people were getting keys, it was going to ruin their COD points thing. They weren't going to make that much money. But I do understand if people are going to get banned for like two days, you know, you can't go on Infinite Warfare. It's fine. I really don't care about that in my opinion. But if we're going to be getting fully reset... Then I'm, I just might as well go sell the game at GameStop for like $2. <laughs> but what I think Activision should honestly do is actually just get rid of the supply drops overall. I mean, it's just so stressful seeing so many of my friends buy COD points and then whenever they go open their supply drops thinking they're going to get some kind of like cool epic variant or weapon or whatever. Like one of my friends bought supply drops and I was like, dude, you're going to get a weapon, dude, you're going to get a weapon. And just didn't get anything that was good. And it was a waste of $25. And I just think that COD points should just be over with. It should be just removed automatically because think about it. I mean, remember, remember when Modern Warfare Remastered came out and it was just a remastered. It was com like, it was just exactly kind of like. The original, you know, just uh, just completely better graphics and whatnot. And then there's a huge old update that added in COD points and supply drops. I just think COD points and supply drops are just ruining the game that itself. I mean, think about it. The games that didn't have supply drops were way better than this crap that we are getting right now with COD points and supply drops. I mean, Call of Duty Ghosts is better at this point than all of the stuff we've been we've been just going through I mean this is just bad and it's trash that Black Ops 3 if you guys remember that at the start of Black Ops 3 there were gonna be supply drops but remember it was going to be only cosmetics only I remember that time whenever that came out or whenever all of us heard about that if you guys were like an oldie for for Black Ops 3 I remember uh, Activision or not Activision but uh, Treyarch saying that and look at it now guys we have weapons in supply drops we have so much stuff we have like a legendary like emblem you can get but it's honestly retarded and I think we should be treated better than this bull crap with the COD points and supply drops and whatnot and also getting banned it's just honestly very very just tiring I mean we've been through this for like three Call of Duty games Advanced Warfare Black Ops 3 and this game itself already we're getting banned for no reason and it shouldn't be our fault that's all I'm gonna say guys I would love to say a lot more stuff but this uh, this video is getting too long and I just wanted to say m what I think about um, us getting banned and whatnot and uh, I just wanted to discuss this so everyone can understand what my opinion is on this and uh, like I said I did get banned so thank you to all who actually listened throughout this entire video and actually understand what um what i've discussed and whatnot and uh it's it's honestly like i said it's stressful to see so much bull crap we have to go through and stuff but i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this little not rant but discussion and uh yeah guys thank you guys so much for listening and um watching this video and whatnot and uh yeah you guys can see that black ops 3 fo uh what do you call it footage and whatnot I went back to go play some Black Ops 3, and I actually enjoyed it for once. <laughs> Without, with, uh, I mean, even though every game I do get into has, like, a DLC weapon in it, it's fine. I mean, I do have DLC weapons, too. I have the Marshals, and those things are, oh boy, they're OP, but... Hope you guys have enjoyed this little discussion, and, uh, yes, I will not be uploading for about two days on Infinite Warfare, as, like I said, I've been banned on it and I can't play zombies or anything on it so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little um, discussion and yeah guys Bakun 2002 signing out